you. I resend it? When? Today? No, the other day. I, you I didn't did respond, but... Oh, I'll resend it. I responded to it? You didn't. Then I didn't get it. Oh, that's strange. I, I always respond. Okay, yeah, all right. I'll resend it. Good afternoon. Today's Friday. I believe it's May 8th. And uh, we'll begin the gifts for the Eucharist in just a few moments. Uh, a reminder again, uh, tomorrow is Saturday. We have Mass at 5 p.m. And following that at about 5.40 or so, we have a Mass in Spanish. On uh, Tuesday, we have the Rosary at 12.45. And a little bit later today, 3 o'clock, we'll have the cooking from the refectory kitchen. Uh, just got back from the hospital, and some good news. Uh, I, I might have mentioned a while back, there was a 21, a 41-year-old woman there who had uh, three children and all. Uh, she went home yesterday. That's great, great news, because she was on a vent, and they thought she was going to die, and she didn't. And a lot of people have uh, gone home. Over 200 people have been taken off vents and gone home from the hospital, so that's great, great news that we have from that. Um, and this morning, I prayed with a young man who's uh, only 22. He's a uh, paramedic, uh, lives in um, Manorville, and this is the hospital he comes to all the time to bring patients, so it's funny that he's being treated there. But we keep him and all those who are working in our prayers. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Once again, we bring our day and our life before the Lord, ask Him to bless it, ask Him to be with us in this difficult time, and ask Him to bless our world and to show Himself truly a Father of us all. We ask God this pardon for our failings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading. Grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you, and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God has promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus as is written in the second psalm, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. 
I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. <clears throat> Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. Rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son. son this day son. I have begotten you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. If you have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, where I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are two very different moods in the readings we just heard. <coughs> the, the Gospel reading is at the Last Supper. Jesus is gathered with his disciples. He's preparing them for the fact that he's not going to be with them, he's going to die. And the reading is full of, of problems. There's uh, Thomas saying, we don't know where you're going, Lord. And we didn't read the section, but in the same section, Philip says, Lord, show us the Father. They have all kinds of questions, all kinds of difficulties, because this very difficult moment is coming. So it's a, it's a, a reading that's filled with, with great anxiety, great doubt, great questioning. The first reading is very different. Uh, the first reading is... St. Uh, Saint Paul, preaching with great confidence to people. No anxiety, no doubt, but this absolute confidence that Jesus has risen from the dead. So what's happened between the two readings? Of course, it's the experience of the resurrection. The disciples and Paul have experienced the risen Lord, and it changes their life, it changes their whole approach to things. And that raises a question for us. Are there any experiences in your life or in mine that we can say that have really changed our approach, changed our life? Uh, have many people had some great experience, some, some one-time experience that really changed their whole way of understanding, their whole way of appreciating, their whole way of looking at Jesus and God? Maybe some have. Probably most people haven't had that one key experience. But we all have to live, look at the other experiences in our lives. What are the experiences that have changed us? What are the experiences that make us trust in Jesus? To trust this Jesus risen from the dead. For a lot of us, it will be a lot of things. It will be the fact that we were raised, our family, our parents, uh, the people we knew when we were growing up, who just lived as if they believed this and passed it on to us. It could be our experience of the church today, the the consolation, the help we get from the sacraments, from being part of a community. It could be the way we see the Christ life lived in other people. But we all need some kind of experience to help us to believe. We all need not proof, because it's not proof. But we all need something to strengthen us and to say, it is really true, and I know it's true, because I have had this experience of the risen Lord in what has happened in my life. So we ask for the Lord for the grace to keep giving us those experiences, to strengthen our faith, especially in these difficult times, and to strengthen our faith, especially in this Eucharist, where the Lord is with us in a special way. With confidence in God our Father, we bring our needs before him. For again, all those who are suffering from the effects of the pandemic and all those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people throughout the world who are beginning to experience the pandemic, where it's getting worse and worse, where it's touching more lives, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, God's blessings on those who are trying to find a vaccine, those who are caring for the sick, those who are doing anything to, to uh, deal with all the difficulties that the pandemic is bringing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, religious and political, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that each of us brings to the celebration of the Eucharist. And especially for Mary and Alexander Gratsky, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear us. We offer our prayers through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept his sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name. Our good and good of all the holy Catholic Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offering of your family. Under your protective care, may we never lose what we have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time above all, we praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. Integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. When the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with Mary, the most blessed Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with John the Evangelist, John the Baptist, Saint Isidore, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, with the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have called here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, your kind admittance to your kingdom. Here we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, Amen. to whom we bestow all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other in our minds and hearts the peace of Jesus Christ. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, and redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us live the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.